what's up? I am Michelle B. This is Channel Nerds, a channel dedicated to helping YouTubers that want to educate, inform, and inspire to grow their presence on YouTube. And in this video, I want to answer a question that is incredibly important, and that is, how much should you charge for a brand deal on YouTube? This was one of my biggest concerns when I first started even thinking about brand deals. My first concern was, oh god, will I charge too much? Am I going to be pushing brands away? Will they not want to work with my channel because I'm putting such a like high figure out there? And on the flip end, my concern was, am I charging too little? Am I undervaluing my work and my audience? There are a lot of different variables that can impact how much you might charge for a brand deal. Um, but in this video, I kind of just want to demystify the topic in general and give you some solid avenues that you might want to go down to determine a figure to put out there. Firstly, I am going to emphasize that sponsorship rates are going to vary. If you have a really specific channel with a really specific target audience that all have a similar interest, then a brand might pay more to get themselves on your channel as opposed to someone who has a more generic channel. It can also vary depending on how likely your audience is to purchase the product. So if you have viewers that are quite wealthy, are very willing to buy, then you would be able to charge more. It can also depend on things like how large the brand is. Obviously a small scale startup, they're not going to be able to offer you as much as like Canon. And there's also the matter of if you're just doing like a quick 30 to 40 second shout out or you're doing a fully dedicated video that is all about the brand. To give you an example of how much brand rates can vary, the Internet Creators Guild, which I will link down below, did a survey on a whole bunch of YouTubers and found that someone that got an average of 10,000 views on their videos, they might do a full-blown dedicated video for around $18,000. On the other side of that, the same YouTuber could do a sponsored shout out for $20. So it really isn't cut and dry, and I think that's why a lot of people don't talk about it. The Internet Creators Guild recommended that the median price for a sponsored video is about three cents per view. So if you get 10,000 views on average, that would equal $300. I'm going to link the article by the Internet Creators Guild in the description below. I'm also going to direct you down another avenue, which is a website called called Social Blue Book. Basically, you can just head on to Social Blue Book, plug in all of your channels, you can even plug in your Instagram, and it will calculate an average figure for you. You can toggle the figure so you can see what you could get paid for a dedicated post, as opposed to a sponsored mention, because those are very different figures. Keep in mind, if you're Australian, these figures are US dollars, so it works out in our favor. So Social Blue Book, it can spit out figures based on averages. However, it does not know the worth of your channel. It doesn't know how tight your audience is, how strong your community is, how wealthy your community is, how much a brand would love to get in front of your audience. For the most part, you shouldn't take less than the standard for a sponsored YouTube video. It does a disservice to other YouTubers because it means the brands will lower their price points. However, there are probably some exceptions that I would make. So for example, if Marie Folio contacted me and she said, I will give you free access to B-School. If you promote my B-School in one of your videos, I'd probably say yes, because her product to me, that's probably worth more than a sponsored video. There are very few circumstances where I'd accept a product for a sponsored mention in a video. And I think that's the better way to be on YouTube to ensure that other creators and yourself don't get taken advantage of. Another instance where you might charge a lower rate is if you do a package deal with a sponsor. So kind of like when you go onto a hairdresser's website, they have package deals you get like foils, a cut, whatever else for only $200 where it's usually worth like $300, that's what you would do for a package deal. So just slightly reduce your rate so that the brand is paying a little bit less. It means that you get a consistent pay over a long period of time, which for a YouTuber, it's hard to get. Another thing worth mentioning is to always keep your rates updated. So what you charged in January of this year shouldn't be the same thing that you charge in June of this year if your channel has grown in size. A recommendation that I have is to put together a little bit of a one pager. It might have a description of your channel, how many views you're getting on average per video, some of your stats to say who your subscribers are, and it has a number for your rates. So how much you charge for a dedicated upload, if that's something that you do, or how much you would charge for a sponsored mentioned video. So as soon as a brand emails you and they're like, hey, what's your rates? You can just send them back that document. And not only does it give them your rates, it also kind of shows what you're worth. You can put a bit of information around why you're charging the rates that you're charging if you do have a really niche channel and you know that it's hard to seek out the people in your audience. 
So I have had brands actually turn me down when I've gone back to them and said, hey, these are my rates for my channel. And they've said, well, no, sorry, we would only charge this. And in that case, I've just said, okay, well, that's fine. We're not working together. You shouldn't even feel the slightest twinge of regret. If they aren't willing to pay you what you're worth, then it's not worth working with them. If you do know other creators within your niche, don't be afraid to try and talk to them about what they charge for their brand deals. It feels like this weird like secret topic that no one ever talks about and sometimes contractually you aren't able to talk about it. If you are being paid $400 for a brand deal and another creator over there is being paid $1,500 for a brand deal, that's incredibly unfair and talking about it would solve the issue. Obviously the company is willing to pay that 1500, just you haven't asked for it. I'm trying to create a bit of a playlist based around brand deals as a whole. If you have any burning questions, chuck them in the comment section down below so that I can cover off on your questions. If you liked this video and you want to improve your content as a creator, I have a great video on how to radically improve your YouTube videos. I will link it on the screen if you want to check that out. Subscribe, I appreciate you so much and I'll see you soon.